What you see going on here is the next step of our process where we've identified the genes that we need to make some edits in, and now we wanna get them into plants. And so our team here in this area is working on bringing the genes into the cells and then growing the cells back into plants. And in that process, we actually have some ways that we can use natural tools to introduce the, the genes and the edits that we wanna make into the plant cells. And it involves a bacteria that's a really interesting uh, way that was essentially the start of the biotech revolution in agriculture was the discovery of a bacteria that could infect plant cells. And when they infect the plant cells, they deliver the DNA in the bacteria into the plant. And the researchers back in the 80s that were working on this figured out that they could put in to that bacteria different kinds of genes with changes from the, the edits they wanted to make, or sometimes we actually put the molecular scissors in the bacteria, and now we let the bacteria do its job that it was made to do, which is infect plant cells, and it goes in there, and it makes the edits and the changes, and now we can bring a plant back from those cells, grow them back out, and we have a whole plant that's got the edits and changes in them. We're using a natural process to help make these changes in the plants, and then we let the plants just grow back the way they would normally grow back from those embryonic tissues that you find in seeds. Uh, if you break open a seed, you find those little, little tissues that ultimately give rise to a whole new plant, and we're able to work with those and then just let them grow back over time. So here's some different stages of what that looks like, and I don't know if the camera's gonna show this really well or not, but you can see here, the tissue that's started to grow back now from a single cell. This is life coming back here. And, and what you'll see here on this plate is over on the far side is the very beginning of a, a shoot that's going to ultimately grow back all the way to a plant. Uh, and what we do is we grow those shoots uh, on this special media that gives it, it's like baby formula for plants, right? It gives it everything it needs. And then they slowly grow more and more of these shoots until we can start to move them out into larger containers where they start to look like more regular plants with leaves and roots. And they have the media again they need that's like the baby formula for a growing plant. Now this is sort of a, an adolescent that's kind of coming along. And then ultimately in the last stage in our tissue culture, they get to that bigger point where now they're ready to go to soil. And so now we're, this, this guy's ready to be planted and sort of fend for himself. That's a baby banana tree. A, a baby banana. Yeah, we don't need to sing the lullabies anymore. He's ready to kind of start walking on his own. And that's when we move him to soil.